10 ways China is trying to get people to have more kids. China used to find people for having more kids. Now it is begging them to have more. Here are some of China's emergency actions. 1. Matchmaking. One county created a database of single residents. It aims to help them find the perfect date. Authorities collect broad personal information. Then they use it to organize the best dating services. 2. The three-child policy. China has canceled its one-child policy. For years, no more than one child was allowed per family. Then the limit was increased to two children. In 2021, China launched the three-child policy. Yet these desperate measures have been in vain. Recently, pregnancy rates hit record lows. 3. Advertisement. Officials in one province came up with a novel idea. They hired a group of women to promote childbirth. The women had to walk around and shout at locals. They had to chant slogans about giving birth. One of the slogans hailed the three-child policy. The women also had to bang pots and drums. 4. Cash incentives. China is offering cash rewards for newborn babies. One province started giving new parents $2,800. Many companies pay their employees to have kids. One travel agency especially stood out. It offered workers annual bonuses for five years. Some firms cut rent for families with three children. Some counties provide large housing subsidies. 5. Cash reward for younger brides. One province started paying younger brides. It offers $138 to brides who are 25 or younger. The reward aims to promote earlier childbearing. Mature couples are less likely to have children. The offer is a big deal for China. The country previously encouraged later marriages. Now newlyweds can get cash right after marriage. 6. Stopping the betrothal gifts. China is trying to ban the traditional betrothal gifts. In China, men traditionally pay a bride price. In this way, the groom shows his good financial standing. Poor men cannot afford fancy gifts. This practice exists due to gender imbalance. For every 100 women in China, there are 136 men. So a man needs to prove he is the best candidate. A ban on betrothal gifts is now being discussed. 7. Birth registrations. In China, only married couples can register babies. Unwed pregnancies are widely condemned. The law doesn't allow unmarried women to freeze their eggs. Now some regions have decided to relax restrictions. They want to focus on the desire of childbearing. They will allow fertility therapy for single women. 8. Banning the private tutoring industry. China has tried to ban private tutoring. Most Chinese families spend a lot of money on tutoring. The costs caused many to avoid having kids. But the ban had the opposite effect. It just sent the industry underground. Now parents spend even more on private tutoring. 9. Extended maternity leave. China has started offering extended maternity leaves. Up to three extra months of leave are allowed. Most provinces have also increased paid paternity leave. Yet many women are still afraid of being fired. Some say that hiring discrimination has increased. Employers now routinely ask about pregnancy plans. 10. New abortion policies. China intends to reduce the number of abortions. The one-child policy caused high abortion rates. Women had abortions if a girl was to be born. Now China bans abortions for non-medical reasons. Yet the abortion rate continues to rise 